What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you the best settings in Atlas for low-end PCs and laptops. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, open up your game and navigate to your graphic settings. Here, you should set the resolution to your native display resolution, but in case you are using outdated components, you will have to reduce it to 720p for example. Set the window mode to full screen and graphics quality depending on your GPU. As you can see here, the game is recommending to set it to low if you have a GTX 660 or lower. Reduce the resolution scale only as a last resort if you are unable to play the game. This will make the biggest visual difference, but might just make the game playable for you. Make sure to set the anti-aliasing, shadows and textures to low, as well as particle animations and light blooms. Don't forget to save your changes. Next, we will edit the config file of the game to further change some settings which are not available in the game options. Open up your file explorer and go to the drive on which you save the game on. Here, go to Program Files, Steam Apps, Common, Atlas, Shooter Game, Saved, Config and lastly, Windows No Editor. Make a copy of your game user settings file in order to use it as a backup in case you make a mistake. Open up the file with an text editor like Notepad and scroll all the way down to change some settings. A part of your SG resolution quality, set every quality option to zero. For example, Waveworks quality or ground clutter quality. When you're done, make sure to save your changes and lastly, right click the game user settings file in your file explorer and go to properties. Here, you will have to check the read only box and apply your changes. This will make sure that your options will not be changed once you start the game again. To further improve the game performance or to see at how much FPS your game is running at, select the link in the description below to get to the tutorial. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.